Welcome to another episode of Small Talk with Jill, virtually interviewing businesses one interview at a time. Today we're talking with Scanlon Home Team at Oneana Realty. Take a moment here to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any other updates from Small Talk with Jill. Scanlon Home Teams pride themselves in communication and problem solving, two of the biggest issues in real estate transactions. Hi and welcome ladies to Small Talk with Jill. I'm so glad that you're able to join me today. As we know, this is being recorded during the COVID-19 pandemic, so um, we're kind of doing business virtually and I'm interviewing businesses around Otsego County and I have Team Scanlon here, or part of Team Scanlon here. Um, a locally owned and operated uh, real estate company. So Nancy, I'm going to start with you, if I may. Can you tell me how did Team Scanlon, Scanlon come about? Well, we're, the Scanlon Homes team started just as Bob Scanlon. And uh, he came in after Bob and I closed our retail store. And he had a very good, successful first year because we understand sales, we understand customer service because that is what we've done all of our adult lives. Um, and he needed help. So he brought me on his second year and we had a great year. We doubled our sales and uh, the third year we tripled our sales and then neither of us were coming home and we weren't seeing each other. So we decided we needed to bring somebody else on. So Kirsten joined our team and we thought, great, we're gonna do this. We're gonna divide it three ways. We'll all have reasonable livings and we will have lives. And then right after that, we grew to $18 million, which is crazy. And um, we had to bring on Patrick Muller, who joined us just a year ago. Um, we are four full-time agents. We uh, call ourselves the Scanlon Homes Team, and we function within the Oneonta Realty Brokerage. We have an independent office on Main Street. Uh, which people that know Bob and I and our retail background, it is in our old shoe department from our store, Sport Tech. Oh. So we came full circle this year when we opened our office downtown. And it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I love what you've done there. And you, uh, you make it almost interactive for, for people going to your offices. Uh, I have to thank you because this is our yes. second home and on our first home, you were responsible for bringing the buyer, so thank you. Um, yep, yep, and they are very happy in your home. No, oh, they started their family there, and they just love it. Yeah, well, you're you um, as a team. I you work wonderfully as a team, and I know the community is very, very grateful for all your hard work and showing showing off not only houses, but you show off what this county has to offer we uh because of our long history um in the community we understand the community uh we understand the impact that this uh current situation is going to have on our local community um and we bob is a lifetime resident so he was born at fox hospital he has lived his whole life here uh, I have been here for all of my adult life, and we owned a business, uh, a very nice business in downtown Oneonta for almost 30 years. So we are very much embedded in this community and uh, love the greater Oneonta area for all of the intangible things it offers, because it offers uh, incredible outdoor experiences. You know, even if you live in the city of Oneonta, within two minutes, you can be in woods and forest. Um, and that is a pretty unusual setting. And uh, we have always loved that aspect of our community. Oh, it is, it's, it's absolutely stunning. I, I've um, lived in almost every region of New York State, and by far, this is my favorite. The, the it's views beautiful. are spectacular, beautiful. like you said. We're and your new, your new home has a beautiful setting. Yes, and we're very blessed. So tell me, Nancy, why is Scanlon Team so successful? What separates you from other agencies? I think that it is the fact that we 
are very much full-time, all four of us. We represent three different generations. Mm -hmm. um, so we cover a very wide scope of consumers. Uh, we have a very large uh, and broad database and we are good communicators. We're very good marketers and we are very good communicators. So if a client chooses to work with us, they always know what is going on, either if they're buying a house or if they're selling a house, what the marketing plan is, what, um, what we're doing to either sell their home or what we're doing to find them the right home. And another key component in our industry is you have to be a really good listener. You have to ask the right questions to find out what is most important to the person that you're working with. And I think that all four of us, because of our past careers, are very good at that. Kirsten, thank you for joining me today. So um, obviously, real estate is different right now during uh, this pandemic. Can you tell us what it's like? It is definitely um, very different right now, though I do think that after the initial shock period, um, both states, let's say, and uh, buyers and sellers have really impressively started to adapt and embrace those changes. Of course, the market isn't where it should be right now, but we have put things under contract, we're doing food tours, all of that fun stuff. I do want to also say that because the regulations um, seem to be shifting um, frequently, especially when this first happened, anything I am saying right now may have recently changed or may change again. Um, so this is not, this is by no means meant to be taken as a fully legal statement, but it is a generality of what we are looking at and what our clients are facing right now. Yep, every day is different and every hour. So our governor is definitely sending uh, new guidelines and we're in every industry is trying to, it, well, is keeping up with it. So we're, we're managing it. And um, to your point is you, you wanna, we wanna get the point across is that you are following the guidelines to a T. Correct, and as they are currently uh, currently in being interpreted. Right, right. Um, so I love the homes behind you. Are those yeah, available? Uh, yes, both of the ones you're seeing are still, are available. Um, we we tend to sell things so fast that some of the um, showcase homes in here we have already been sold. So what what are the current changes? Basically. Everything has to be done digitally. There, it, it, there is no human interaction as there previously would have been, which is tough for us because we're very, you know, people have to develop those relationships. They're important for us. And it's harder when it's digital or phone based, but we are unable to interact in person. I think that's the most important part. We are seeing houses go under contract based on virtual tours. Um, I think a lot of that, A, is out of necessity. If you want to remove yourself from an area you're feeling threatened from, from COVID, or if you have a new job and you, you don't have an option. Um, so we're making that as easy for, uh, uh, excuse me, as for sellers and buyers as possible. So our, our area is very popular for second homes, specifically yeah. people from the city, Connecticut, yeah. it's um, the summer homes or even winter camps, you, you know, a lot of people from Jersey. So um, you've had people visit here and then contact you and, but, but they're not available to come here. So you, this is not something new. What's really new though is the health and the yeah. safety aspect of it. The gloves, the masks, the being mindful of, um, this the the spread of germs so so it's it's adding um other layers of of safety and security so it was kind of evolving before you know this unfortunate um pandemic yeah and i think the agent um particularly you know our team again specializes in you know making sure we're on top of that digital engagement i think we've had a leg up because we've been communicating and marketing like this already. Um, 
you know, and I think I think it's forcing folks to engage in different ways that are enlightening and illuminating. And yes, we do get a lot of outer outer area of virus, but I do want to point out that, you know, this is a toy, life doesn't stop. You have a new baby, you need a bigger house, you you get a new job and yes, that's still happening. You need to move into the area. You know, I have been astounded by this job, I think, watching people be the beautiful aspect of humanity and its ability to adapt and continue and enjoy the silver lining that come with those changes. So it's, you know, we're, we're looking to the future and um, I'm so happy that you were able to join me, you and Nancy today. Um, so for people now though, they can only email or phone or um, check out your website because there is no, I wanna reiterate that, there is no personal interaction with your agent. The person, the personal interaction is via phone and email. So I just want to review that once again, let everyone know if they want to take a virtual tour of a home, that's a possibility of something they can set up. Um, yeah. But again, the, the uh, statewide um, parameters based on the pandemic are coming down swiftly and you're on top of it, you're interpreting, interpreting it and um, creating the um, environment that is safe for all. Correct, a absolutely, absolutely. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy that um, Team Scanlon is healthy and I want them to continue to be healthy. And thank you for all that you do for this community. Uh, you know I'm a huge fan and I can't wait till we get back to the norm though that I can come down and and I give you the hug and swap cookies and you know thank you too Jill for doing this again this is an example of how incredible people are adopting and making the best of the situation so thank you thank you and in the future I, I want to continue this channel so in the future oh. um I want to do another interview where and maybe I can come in person when that when that time comes and uh just keep it up and, and yeah six whatever they tell us we can do and we can't do I'm all about uh I'm following the rules for this I want everyone to be healthy um but I want to keep it up so that when tourism starts again, when um, people get back to work, that it's out there, that they can see and they can um, see it through our YouTube channel, our Otsego County, New York YouTube channel. Thank you and be well, my friend. Bye. Bye, Joe. Thank you. business or own a business you'd like to see featured, please comment below. If you are new, consider subscribing to this channel and sharing it with other people who would enjoy its content. Until next time, remember, here on Small Talk, we are connecting people to people and business to business.